Hello friends and welcome back for episode 48 of our Rogue Legacy Let's Play. This is another challenge runs episode and today we're going to be tackling some runs that are primarily focused on avoidance of various forms. So uh, our first big one today uh, is brought to us by Michael D. Burton uh, who has left the comment challenge using any character slash armor slash rune setup do not attack at all and attempt to add every room to the map. So pro dodging. Uh, so that is our focus. I've picked and set up a character uh, to my specifications, I think probably the, the best strategy I'm going to be able to come up with to not attack anything directly, and hopefully this doesn't fall outside of the the rule set that we are uh, trying to adhere to here, where we're not actually attacking anything. I've set up a couple retaliation runes, and I should mention, of course, I'm a spell sword. Excuse me, uh, strength 171, magic 238, armor 296. A decent amount of HP, I suppose, and it uh, looks like our focus here, well, the, the way I tried to angle this is that we're going to do a bunch of retaliation damage and get a little bit of vampirism uh, through the armor set being the uh, mostly the Slayer set with the Royal Cape, which is kind of where I was going with my final setup anyway, because I should probably just show you real quick. Yep, so we've got all of that. And then on runes, which you can see in the bottom corner anyway, Retaliation, Retaliation, Vampire, Vampire, and a Flight Rune, uh, which actually gives me a pretty nice hang time, so like two, almost two and a half seconds in the air. Uh, plus, I have Dwarfism as a spell sword, so I figured that would be a nice way to complement it. So let's jump into things. Uh, let's not get hit. Let's see how this goes. Uh, if this fails, and it probably will fail, I'll probably try another one. Uh, so no sword usage whatsoever. I'm going to try and just only use the A button like, at all. And I don't have any dash, so that's also a thing. Uh, I could probably attack barrels and stuff, but, like, what's the point? Our goal here is to just try and, uh, fill up the map as much as possible, right? Although, if there ends up being something up there that's worth seeing, maybe it is worth opening a chest. Let's, uh, let's go investigate. I'm too much of a completionist for these challenges, man. I need to be able to open up everything. It drives me nuts. Alright, it's just a regular chest. I knew that. Alright, so down we go. And alright, we've got a oh big projectile dude. Just run through that. Scythe as opposed to well, it doesn't really matter, does it? I'm not gonna be using either one. I guess we can open these chests, no reason not to. Uh, I should be hopefully allowed to open up these statues uh, to get back health if I need, but I'll leave them alone because my goal here is not to touch anything. Uh, when I start to get to areas like the Maya, uh, it's gonna get really chaotic because mostly oh whoa, that was a little risky. There's basically characters everywhere, and stuff's trying to kill me from every direction. I'm not sure if this is the, such a thing that's even possible, uh, because I've never really attempted it before, but that's why we're doing it, right? So there is actually uh, something below us there that I'd like to maybe get. It's probably just... okay, yep, more gold. Really didn't need to do that at all. Right, out of there. Uh, so right, can I use stuff on these statues? Yes, I'm gonna say yes, because I'm gonna need to do that at some point. So, so far so good. I think things uh, could probably have gone slightly better in some of those rooms, but I was mostly just greedy. Uh, I guess I should probably pray for assistance. Oh, I got the Hyperion's Ring. Okay, uh, so moving to the left, another dead end. Oh, whoa, forgot about that portrait there. I think probably having dwarfism is going to be a huge help for me. Um, and I, you know, the other thing I was going to try also if this uh, run fails, I think I just, like, never got to actually say it, was that I wanted to do a run where I only use magic. And if that is the case, uh, probably an Archmage or a Spellsword. Uh, both good calls for that sort of a challenge. Oh, I should be able to just walk right through this room. Nothing up above. Maybe this is possible, I don't know. Could be. There's a freaking ton of projectiles, just like I predict, uh, predicted. So my strategy was to be able to kill things uh, incidentally by having them, you know, die to my retaliation runes and then collect the vampirism from those. Uh, it doesn't seem to be the case, though. That doesn't seem to be happening at all. Uh, there's another stupid chest up at the top. Uh, probably needed a bit more retaliation damage for that to be possible. Um, probably just won't bother with that. Because we're not here for the money, the money is largely pointless. I mean, not largely, just completely pointless. There is no reason to have money at this stage in the game. Does that really do that much damage to me? That's crazy. Oh, excuse me. Oh, jeez. No way I was going to avoid getting hit there. Why did I go through this? I should have looked at the map first. 
I didn't need to come through this room at all. Okay, wait for it. Oh, jeez. Morgan Florgan, get out of there! This is a more fun of a challenge than I expected it to be, actually. Not that I knew what I was expecting it to be, but it just seemed like uh, this would be pretty frustrating. But I think it's, it's actually possible. Gotta just stop going down these dead end corridors, though, and I really don't want to botch the run at this point, because, you know, I actually feel like I had a chance. That is a terrible room. Oh, jeez. Um, how am I gonna make it out of this? I gotta make it all the way back down. There's no teleporters anywhere. This is kind of an unfortunate draw for me. Yeah, pro dodging, uh, not my strongest suit, evidently. Pro dodging, oh, right into the ghost. Alright, well, death defy! Hooray! So, that'll maybe get me back out of this position. Oh, crap, I used my sword. I meant to just break the statue. I didn't mean to hit the dude. I didn't kill him. Sorry. Well, I invalidated the run and then lost anyway, so... Whatever, I'm a huge jerk. Uh, let's try something different. Let us try... who do we have here? Hokage, Paladin, and a Spelunkette. Uh, Reroll gives Hokage, Paladin, and Spelunker, so the exact same draw twice in a row, basically. Uh, let's go for a Paladin... no, wait, whose magic do I want? Spelunker is not bad. Probably a Chakram, the best chance there, combined with the HP. Uh, don't need any of that. And, okay, what do I want to do here? So I want to make a run based around magic. Uh, so what is my best bunch of options here? So I want to probably go for Holy, uh, go for Increased, uh, Mana. I could also do with some damage return, too. I should probably do some Siphon Runes and stuff. We'll see about working that out. Uh, health we want to still keep up, though. We just don't need really any of this crit stuff, so I guess fine. Leon, why, why not? We'll just go siphon primarily. Siphon mana plus seems like the right way to go. Although, you know, maybe I do want to actually keep some of that flight on the uh, the flight cape, rune, whatever. Royal cape, that's what I'm working at. And let's go back over here, check out our rune situation. Let's add on uh, siphon... Siphon, Siphon, and then the two Vampire Runes, let's just make those uh, balance. No, let's just make them all Siphon. I think that's fine. I don't really need the last either, so let's just go straight Siphon Runes. And we'll just see how well we can make uh, this Chakram run happen. So no sword for this run. I will only be trying to use my Chakram here. Uh, does that mean I also have to use it on stuff like this, though? That's a good question. Um, let's say yes. And then I also have to remember to, uh, like, turn around and use this backward. I think this is gonna be a largely avoidance Oh, jeez. Right, there's no knockback here, so this is just gonna be a horrible day, isn't it? Oh, man. I can't even fight, like, the most basic of enemies with this stuff. You know, my magic does decent damage now, but... This is crazy. There we go. Okay, that actually worked. This is going to be very tedious, I have a feeling. Uh, and I guess I have to not waste... Oh, okay, how do I deal with this? Well, let's just not deal with this. The uh, primary goal, again, is going to be to explore as much of the castle as possible. And I don't know, can it be done? I'd like to do at one point. Um, might have to use some grace runes at some point, too. Could see that being a big help. And I should really watch how much MP I get back. Another one? Really? We can't just do enough with the one. Oh, whatever. Okay, should have just left. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with killing this one dude. Okay, that should knock through all three. Yep. Oh, almost traversed those. Didn't quite happen. Um, screw this room. Nothing to see here. Yeah, there's gonna be, you know, pro dodging necessary again. I think I might just not be cut out for these types of runs. I don't know. Maybe you just I don't have the skills, or I don't have the uh, the proper point in the game. You know, I might be at a point where things are now too hard for these types of things to work very effectively. Uh, maybe I should be using more grace runes. I don't know, I still have to maybe feel out some of the balance for these types of uh, runs. You know, I can kill some of this stuff, at least, with the shock room, but it's not, like, not really helping. It's just more about completion than anything. I'm just sort of getting rid of them so they're not there anymore. Everything is shooting like it's level 3 projectiles, which is just so annoying. 
I can't dodge anything like that. I mean, this is just, it fills up the whole room. And into the spike ball we go. Alright, Lady Faye X, uh, aka Lady Faye the Tenth. Um, what do we want to do next? What do we want to do next? How about, let's try Lich Queen with uh, extra flame barrier protection. And how do I want to balance this one out? Uh, well, I don't know, this could be interesting. So I, the goal of the Lich is to elongate your mana and health bars by killing things. And if I'm not able to effectively do that, it could be an interesting conundrum. So uh, let's let's try balancing with, uh, let's take two of these and make them balance runes. Three of them. Yeah, because I'm still getting a little bit back from my MP. And that way I'll get some HP as well. And just in case, I don't know if it'll help. So same deal, uh, no sword this time. Should be a little bit easier though, because we have the Flame Wall, which is one of the better spells out there, especially when it does all that damage. Now the question though is, will it handle dealing damage fast enough and recovering MP fast enough that it's actually going to stay useful for very long? Um, and it remains to be seen. But it is a question I am willing to answer, hopefully. Let's make our way up here, maybe not. Projectiles abound. Oh, jeez. I gotta... Oh, this is gonna be awful. I can't even get to these things to hurt them. Okay, stop. All it takes is one really bad draw like that, and all of a sudden... Oh my god, just leave me alone. All of a sudden, what it could have been a pretty simple castle has become a pretty daunting prospect. I really need more HP. I don't think I can handle playing through it with this little the chest at the end here. Not really necessary to go after, but I'm doing it anyway for some reason. So I figured I had all this flight power, might as well use it. Even though it's kind of risky. Alright, so let's go up. Oh, right, forgot about him. Okay, can't hit that from that position. Honestly, having Flame Wall should be a pretty big advantage. This is a really useful spell. And I'm not doing it any any justice at all. Okay, he's gonna follow me almost all the way down. I think I remember the money sacks ever, like, sliding on sloped surfaces, do you? It's probably happened. Alright, I'm very nearly dead already. We've hardly had a chance to do anything. Okay, this is a much-needed respite. And we're gonna go to the Maya, evidently, where we were then going to be trounced nearly immediately, I have a feeling. Uh, we've burned through that mana almost instantaneously. Once it's gone, it's gone. Uh, there's not really a way for me to recoup it without being able to use it, so that's uh, a, a difficult situation for me. And uh, thankfully, the game balanced itself out there by killing me right around the same time I ran out of MP. So, uh, I don't know. These, these runs are pretty interesting. Let's try a Spell Sword with the exact same setup. Uh, yep, flame wall colorblind this time. All right, we can try that out. I am not a fan of colorblind, but I guess it'll work. Um, anything else I can do to balance this situation? Let's try, uh, let's throw a grace rune into the mix. If I remember, only one grace rune is necessary to knock us down to tier two enemies for the most part, so I think that'll make a, hopefully, a pretty big difference. I can't not kill these stupid things. Um, okay, probably shouldn't have done that. It was really a waste of MP. Alright, picture frames. I gotta come up with, like, a contingency plan for what happens when I run out of mana, uh, because that seems to be the case, you know, very quickly. Oh, well, alright, that was awfully generous of the game to give me that. Yeah, we're totally down to, like, tier 2 enemies now, which is uh, a big help for trying to run through something like this. You know, I might have to use my sword. Maybe that'll be, like, the backup thing. Like, yes, I won't use my sword, but only... I'll only use it if it's, uh, we're in dire straits type position. Like, we're in, uh, zero MP land. Which is a land I don't want to visit, really. But it seems like it's a necessary land to visit occasionally. Although the game's been very, very generous with these potions, which I really wouldn't have expected to get. Uh, what's... Oh, right, I can use the big... Forgot about that. Playing as this character class, I can use the giant fireballs, and you're probably all screaming at me to do that. Sorry. Oh, what's this? Hey, we got a little HP up. Those are always a nice thing to find. Anybody? Oh, okay, we got a zombie, a couple of zombies. Does 
that burn through my MP just as fast or faster? I don't know about that. Let's, uh... Should maybe conduct an experiment here. Yeah, just... Here, blow up. Thank you. And now I'm pretty much out of MP again. Not sure that was worth it. I might have to use my sword in a moment. I'm trying to use the smaller flame wall. Okay, I'm totally out now. Oh, that actually, well, killing, like, one thing restores almost my entire MP bar, so that's really nice. I guess I don't have to feel that bad about it, then. Well, not my entire one, but, like, half of it, which was great. It's, uh, kind of strange how, like, the classes are really so dependent on melee, even if they're specifically a magic class. Um, I guess the Archmage is probably the only one that, like, really isn't. Or at least by definition isn't? I'm not sure if it actually isn't, though. I never really plays that one. Alright, I'm gonna kill this guy to get enough mana to do some more damage. I'm trying to remain true to my run here. I, I think it's, it's going okay so far. Uh, let's kill this last dude. I think that was the last dude, right? Did I pass anybody else? No. Okay, let's go back. I hate when it's in black and white like this. Oh, magic damage increase plus one. Always nice. Oh, look. MP potion. Which is just a way I could guarantee having enough mana, though. Yeah, this run actually feels like it might be viable. You know, provided I've added in these little tweaks. It's probably gonna come down to there being, like, a few archetypical runs that I'm able to do. Uh, you know, maybe the, the idea of doing challenge runs on a broader scope uh, was a little naive of me. Maybe I needed to really hone in on what exactly uh, those things were that I could do, and then try and work within that framework. And one of those things may be this exact template that, like, okay, I can do spell-type balance stuff as long as I have the ability to regen MP in some very uh, concrete way. And playing as this class, that actually seems possible, uh, provided, you know, we're al allowing that in the rules, which shouldn't be too big of a deal, I think. Okay, that one I have to hit with my sword. I'm... Oh, wait. I guess just hitting it? I don't actually have to kill it, do I? Alright, fine with me. And to our right. Got an angry star. Alright, very nice. And Ninpojo. Jojo. And that would be the end of our MP again. I have to do a little bit of damage there, regen some mana. I think I actually probably didn't need to hit it as many times as that, but I went ahead and did it anyway. Sorry. Hopefully you'll forgive me. Oh, it's a Mimic. Yep, now I actually have to pay attention to the map because, you know, Mimics are a thing. Alright, get in there. I hate when I lose uh, balance or control of my character, and then all of a sudden... Oh. All of a sudden I can't really do anything. Like, I just, I'm forced to take a bunch of uh, MP loss because I'm waiting for my character to land. Jeez, this room is rough. I'm not sure what to do about this. Um, if we were judging things based on gold, this would be kind of interesting. We're not, though would actually kind of change the way that I de uh, designed the run, most likely. It's really a sh it feels like a shame and a bit of a missed opportunity. There's not like a special sort of challenge runs, like bonus leaderboard or something like that, that people could compete with each other over to get more uh, length out of the game. Granted, the game is pretty freaking long as it is. Why am I just sitting here running? Oh, that was so dumb. I was sitting there running my MP off and not really paying attention to where I was in the room. <laughs> And just like running into stuff. That was super, super dumb. Anyway, um, I guess that'll do it for another episode. Um, I guess we could do like another dragon run or uh, archmage next time. I don't know. We'll figure something out. Uh, so that was largely avoidance and magic oriented runs. I want to do more like that and we will sort that in the future. But please do continue. Feel uh, free to leave another recommendation of a challenge run. Granted, please do keep in mind the limitations that we're going through uh, as I'm trying to spell these out as we actually play through them. So, you know, do try to build in some sort of a counterbalance that I can use to maybe leverage a decent run. I'll just be like, put them all, put all the, run the runes to curse and then just don't use your sword. Like, okay, well, if you want me to take a 30 second run, then you win. And, uh, and no fighting bosses, please. I want to save all the bosses for when I decide to finally, you know, go out with a bang and finish off the series. We'll just go and, and see how far we can run into the game. I'm not sure how long that would take. It would be kind of interesting to see, though. So anyway, for next episode, you have a dragon, a hokage, and an archmage, and whatever the reroll might be, which I'm not going to hit. 
we will see you for next time. So uh, thanks everybody for hanging out. Of course, if you're still enjoying the series, please be sure to let me know. Uh, the series has not been abandoned by any means. I'm just going to be posting episodes of it less frequently, uh, maybe once or twice a week. Uh, and also depending on the reception of the episodes. If they're still going strong, if you guys are really into it and you really want to see more, uh, no reason I couldn't, you know, prioritize that higher. But I'm enjoying Spelunky right now, and we're kind of running a balance between the two. I think that's fine. Hopefully you guys agree. Uh, but if you are still enjoying the series, feel free to leave any support you can. Comments are always welcome, and of course, likes are great if you think that I deserve them, but only then, if and then, uh, do I deserve them that you should leave them. Uh, that came out really awkwardly, but you know what I'm trying to say. So thanks everybody for watching, thanks for hanging out, and I will see you again real soon. I hope you have a lovely day, and talk to you later.